Since August 1st, the public has not seen any reports about the other six members of the CCP Politburo Standing Committee other than Li Shanshu, who hosted the National People's Congress's Standing Committee meeting in Beijing back on the 8th and 10th of this month. According to Radio Free Asia's report on August 10th, the annual senior leadership summer retreat, known as the Bai Dai He meeting, is believed to have occurred during some, if not all, the days between August 1st and the 10th. This was deduced from combined intel from Beijing and Qinghuangdao City, where the meeting has been located. Analysts revealed that the top agendas in this year's meeting were domestic economy and international relations. Included also was the COVID-19 pandemic so far in 2020, as well as virus response plans for the rest of this year. Top CCP leaders also specifically determined that US-China relations are a critical factor for successful international relations and plan to maintain the US-China relations and guide it back to, quote, the right track. Anonymous sources quoted in the report revealed that this year's summer retreat was less populated compared to those of past years, with attendees being much more discreet due to both COVID-19 and the overall political environment. Mr. Yang, a scholar in Hebei province who has visited the senior CCP leaders in recent years' Beidai He meetings, told Radio Free Asia that many retired veteran leaders had been careful in making any remarks at Beidai He, fearing their words might inadvertently irritate anyone. Mr. Yang continued, I've chatted with the President of the Academy of Sciences, the Party Secretary of the Shenzhen Municipal Party Committee, and various ministers who say they basically didn't visit each other's families, let alone meet Xi Jinping. On the street, if one family sees another family coming, both may even try to avoid each other to prevent direct contact. Yang later addressed the rumors that different factions would try to force Xi Jinping to resign at the summer retreat by saying that Beidai He meetings in recent years have been under strict management. Every single meeting was pre-organized while the attendees adopted self-censorship on any activities beyond the official agenda. He noted, This year's Beidai He meeting, however, is so low profile, showing that there have been a lot of different opinions among the attendees. The issue is whether these opinions will unite a significant force. But Yang didn't think the possibility was high. Mr. Kuang, a Chinese Communist Party historian, believes that, quote, both the Jiang Zemin and Hu Jintao factions are basically sunk. Few people from the Jiang faction have the spine to go against Xi Jinping. And since there are no real checks and balances in the CCP, these people don't have enough power to say anything that may offend Xi. Most people are therefore relatively obedient.